Uh, alright. So did this actually do anything in this area? It does not appear so, so I guess the things that those crystals were doing happened outside of here. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what that exactly was. Mm, oh yeah, I forgot I was in this whole big conglomerate area. I forgot about this area with the wolves. Jeez. Oh man, there's a lot more wolves than I anticipated. Just run, run, too many wolves. Let's see what's up here now. At least the wolves are easy to deal with, relatively. Uh, well, this looks cool. This is nice and quaint, this waterfall. I wonder what that's all about. Nice decor, I suppose. Am I down to 1 HP on Argon? How, how freaking... Oh my god, that's scary. Well, I better heal him up before something nasty happens here. Alright. <laughs> Man, I thought I had just healed him a second ago, too. Wait, did he just frost the edge? You jack munch. Alright, um... Oh, we got a whip. Who must whip it. When a peg leg comes along, you must whip it. Peg leg. <laughs> alright, uh -huh. Man, all these crazy names, I can't even remember which one of these is the whip. Is it the hammer flail? I'm gonna hope so. Yeah, it looks like it. Come on, get me across, please. Alright, Sydney. Thank you. Dude, that enemy is getting in the way of my whip action. How is... Dude, I just want, I just want to whip across, please. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have to whip across again? Well, how about that? Just get me away from the conflict, man. That guy was totally cock-blocking me. No, I don't want that. Oh, I want that. Let's see. Oh, another one of these rooms. Are we gonna have, like, one of these rooms for each of the different kinds of magic? With a different national scar for each one? A national treasure of national scars? Well, hot damn. Well, I suppose if that's the case, then I might as well not waste any time here. Uh, I think I was in the right magic grid there, actually. Let's see. Nope. Here we go. Not wasting time to get this analyzing underway. Uh, Silphet's magic will work. But I just used Silphet's magic on it. Shouldn't it work? Well, shoot. I guess it has to be a better Silphet's magic than Analyzer. Here you go. Heard a distant sound. And there's the National Scar. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Leave her alone! Where'd you come from, you weirdo? Oh man, there's like three of them on the same spot there. Or two of them. It totally is. And one of those is an Arctic Wolf. See, this is what I love about these enemies that don't use magic. They just sort of sit there and take it. It's kind of nice, kind of a relief. Oh, wow. Well, that took me somewhere. Is that another National Scar? Get out of here. I didn't even cast anything on a crystal this time. And you're, you're sitting here nice and pretty. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get the jump on this guy before he can even get to my crystal. I'm just gonna sit here and wail on him. Whoa, where the hell? This looks like a very official, important looking place. Like it was all in the middle with that staircase I went up. Uh, dude, I... All right, well, alright. At least that's a dead end. I was about to say how there's so many different freaking passageways to be taken here. See, there's another one. Old crud. Hello. Oh, there's a chest. How about that? A pre-placed chest. That's gotta contain something good. Swords orb. That's really good, actually. I'll have to remember to get that infused at the earliest possible opportunity. Man, these swords do take a beating. I'll give them that much. They have quite the burliness. It's a defensive sword. How great is that? <laughs> there you go. Alright, oh, and that thing dropped a thing on its own. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Cup of wishes won't fit. Well, I guess that's a good thing. That means I'm full on cups of wishes. Alright, nothing there. Is that stupid thing gonna respawn? No, well, yes, but run! Okay. I have a feeling that I'm still missing some crystals that I have to cast stuff on. Just call it a hunch or whatever, but I'm pretty sure. Alright, oh. Well, this looks... Well, that, that looked interesting. Don't go back down, you weirdo. Oh, I guess I can't do anything here yet. Or something. 
I mean, I can be up here, which really doesn't serve any purpose. If I could get back or out, please. Thank you. I hear some weird moaning going on outside my dorm room. And I don't think it's someone having sex. It doesn't sound like that kind of moaning. It sounds like a ghostly moaning. Which is really creepy, too. I mean, either, either kind of moaning would have been creepy in my books. But, uh... Because you don't really hear moaning regardless around here. Maybe someone in pain, I don't know. These are the stresses I live with, with the sounds I live with in college. I tell you what, they're so freaking stupid. Alright, here's another crystal that I can deal with. That I can deal with. The stupid thing will get out of my way. Hmm. I feel like this one is even more red than that other room, so maybe this one will be Salamando. Not sure. But quite frankly, I don't care if it's not. All well, it is. How about that? So let's go ahead and do that. My favorite kind of magic. I do love that fire magic. Gee whiz, I sure love that fire magic. All right, maybe that cleared the way. Cause that was—I think that was the—that this way was the only way I hadn't gone yet of the available options, unless I'm forgetting one that I saw way back or something. Man, that wolf just, like, became two wolves, and I'm just like, oh, screw that, and just ran. <laughs> Something funny about that. All right, still can't do anything here, it seems. It would seem. Um, well, I was hoping that, like, that said somehow opened that gate right there, but I suppose not. I suppose that's a bit of wishful thinking on my part. So let's try and find an alternative. Don't save her. Oh, whatever. Alright, can I even whip back across here? There's like no peg or anything. So I guess I can't. Can I go around the other way though? I don't think I could. Yeah, because it wasn't there like a... It was just sort of a little... It's own plateau over here. Oh, I guess I can whip back across to that. That's what you're supposed to do. I suppose. Uh, you're facing the wrong way. Could you not? There we go. No, you can't come with us, Mr. Wolf. I'm sorry. Has anyone else seen that it's like commercial for that weird-looking show? It's like, what if the, what if Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf were one and the same? It's like, well, that's just the stupidest concept I've ever heard. I mean, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for ideas, apparently. All right, I really don't think there's any other way I can be going right now. Other than up, unless I head all the way outside of the palace here, which I don't think is what I want to do. And I've just been taking a beating. I haven't been on the offense at all lately. I should probably fix that. I should probably also. Well, I'm going to be using the whip in a second again, anyways. But uh, I do need to heal a bit. I'm just sort of trying to find my way around. Damn it! Stop doing that. You're f just wasting my time by afflicting us through these stupid status conditions. Alright, okay, he's tangled. Let's run while that's happening. Just run. Run. Okay, oh, get me out of here. This seriously, the most annoying series of enemies I've ever seen. These stupid gremlins. I hate it, man. I hate it. What'd you get? What'd you get across? There we go. Well, thank you. Alright, now I can switch back to the sword. I think, I hope. Unless there's some other crazy obstacle here. Okay, so it feels like this is the only direction that I can go. Maybe there's something up here? Uh, man, I keep hearing that stupid moaning sound. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's going to come through on the recording in the background or not. That's some weird gurgly, like, sound. It was so weird, though. Sounds like a cat, almost. I, I just don't know. Alright, uh... Well, that's pointless. Hmm... I'm kind of flummoxed, to be honest with you. Is one of these ways the right way to go? Somehow? 
it's doors and right is it this is just another dead end all of these seem to be dead end wait oh no I already did this crystal though didn't I pretty sure maybe not all right let me just let me analyze it gotta check uh, I thought I had done this one already it feels like one I've should have already done at least uh, luminous mat well I guess not all right that's a new one on me. Alright, Sydney, it's the only real crystal that you're gonna get a chance to hitch on, hit on your own. There we go. Heard a distant sound. Now get me the hell away from these Doom Swords, please. And the National Scar. Especially when he's casting Wall, I can't deal with that, man. Or at least I hate dealing with it. Damn it, another couple wishes that won't fit. Well, I suppose it's good that they don't fit, like I was saying earlier, because that just means that I haven't had to be—I haven't had to use them yet, which is nice. And even if I do have to use them, I still have the Revive a Fire spell, which works to some degree for my purpose. All right. Uh, so if there's going to be an even number of crystals, I haven't had in here yet. Yeah, this looks. Oh, this looks cool. I like the dark blue and black. That's a really neat sort of combination too. You'll find that something about me is that I like lots of... I find that lots of colors go really good with black. I like green and black the most. I also like this blue and black. There's red and black. Yeah, even yellow and black is pretty awesome. Like, freaking wasps. They're cool. You know. I've never had a wasp or a hornet or a bee sting me. Which is... I don't know if, I don't know if most people have had that happen to them. That, like, most of the... That would be, be kind of an interesting thing to know, is whether, is how how much of a percentage of the society, or of the population, of the society. It makes it sound like I'm talking about some country club or something. But what percentage of people in the population have had, have been like stung by a hornet or wasp or bee or something of that degree? Hmm. Shades magic lore, perfect. In complete contrast with Lumina. Alright, uh... Well, let's see. Dark Force, I guess. I don't know, I've never had to cast Shade on a crystal, so I don't know which one would work best. There you go, heard it isn't sound. Alright, see a National Scar. He's confused because we ran away from him. He's like, well, you don't want to play? You don't want to play my game? Alright, um... This is... Wait, that's a dead end that I'm heading towards. What am I doing? See, Edge knew what was right. He was like, no, I'm going to stay trapped over here before he heads over to that stupid dead end. Of course, maybe it's not a dead end now. I'm not quite sure. I've cast on six crystals so far. So maybe there's a seventh somewhere that I'm just not completely aware of. Because I do have seven types of magic, don't I? No, well, no, I haven't cast like... I think I have more than that, actually. I think I might have eight or nine. I'm not sure. All I know is that this is confusing right now. Can I head up here? Um. Well, this is not good, not optimal. Can I somehow open this now? I'll, that would have been too just stupid. Like, oh yeah, all you have to do is walk up to it and press B and open. Yay! Happy times for everyone. Don't work that way. Um... I just know there's, there's gotta be a crystal I'm missing or something. Somewhere over this rainbow. Somewhere in this complex maze of doors and passages. I know I've already hit this one. This is the Salamanda one, I'm pretty sure. How did Edge get engulfed there anyways? Yeah, there's a National Scar here, there's no Crystal. Definitely hit this one already. Okay, um... Did I miss one, like, super early on or something? Or miss a set super early on? I have a feeling I'm gonna be, cut I'm gonna be cutting a lot of this out. Oh, dear. In fact, you know what, I think I'm just gonna go sort of, like, cut until I find what exactly I'm missing right now. 
because this cannot be fun to watch, and I'm running out of things to sort of talk about. Probably should have prepared some filler or something, but alas, I did not. Oh my god, really? Gemma, what the- what are you doing? <laughs> Holy crap. Thank you. Is he coming with me? I- what the frick? Uh. <coughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me, that's gonna sound terrible in the recording. Thank god I'm cutting it out. Wait, is that the... Is that stupid moaning sound I was complaining? It seriously sounds like it's coming from outside my door, but I think... It's cut, it came from the heck hounds, because I swear- I thought I saw him howling, and... If that's the case, that's some really strange surround sound crazy effect. Or it sounds like it's coming from behind my door. It's weird. Are you? F I thought that was just a stupid torch in the wall or something. I oh my god, really? That was a switch. The whole. F <laughs> Why am I so oblivious to these things? Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna round down and meet you guys there. I suppose I don't really need to, but... Alright, I probably just cut out like five seconds there, because I said I was going to meet you down here, but, uh, didn't really need to meet you. You probably could have just tagged along with me. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. That's, that's like totally just a callback to that stupid skull incident way early on in the LP, where I didn't realize what I don't... Well, it's not even the same as that. It's even worse than that, because I didn't even realize it was a switch in the first place. At least with the skull, I realized, oh, there's something kind of crazy about that. Maybe I should hit it. Er. But, oh my god. Alright, at least I'm making progress now. I'm making tracks. I was, even, I was like, turning this place upside down, searching. I searched this whole place, like, twice over. I even went out and, like, I went back to North Town. Oh yeah, I turned my sword into the Gygas sword, by the way. I went back to North Town, and I also saved... And then I, like, frickin'... I went all the way up to where, like, stupid Gemma is. And, like, back in there. I don't, I didn't know what I was thinking. I knew that it had to be something simple like that, but... There you go. There's my stupid ignorance or lack of attention to detail shining through again. See, normally it's weird because, like, in a lot of other games that I'm familiar with, I actually have a good attention to detail, but with this one... It seems that that's just totally lacking. I must have something else on my mind or something half the time. Whatever. At least I managed to figure it out in the end. Before I just rage quit or something. Well, not even rage quit. Just more bored quit than anything. Just like, okay. I've searched enough. Maybe I can get my viewers to tell me where to go. No, that's not the point of a blind LP, dude. The point of a blind LP is not to get people to tell you where to go. Are you crazy? These turret lances are so funny. <laughs> they remind me of just like an evil version of Tip Tup or something. It's like, hey guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go race Rich Pig, and then I'm gonna fucking murder you. It's like so dark, grim dark even. Mm -hmm. And they must really like. Every, it's like every, all the interior design decorators for these palaces must really like the color green. They all have these stupid, like, green flames. Unless there's something crazy and magical about them. Like some crazy explanation about how they help to retain mana or something. Oh, a national scar over here. You know, these national scars aren't so bad now that they actually take the time to fight them. They just don't take very much damage at a time. Which is kind of crazy, because I think if you slashed a book with a sword in real life, it would probably do some hefty damage pretty quickly. Of course, if you slashed any of these things that you're fighting in here with a sword in real life, except maybe a sword, then uh, it would probably do something rather tremendous. Alright, I am... somewhere now. I feel like I'm getting pretty high up in this palace, but uh, oh, there's another switch here, don't miss out on that. Don't let your lack of attention to detail screw you twice over again in, like, the same freaking video. Not that it hasn't done that before, it's just I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> Alright, uh... There's a whippy thing there I can't that I can't quite reach, but it looks like there's another whip here that I can reach, so... Let's deal with that. Oh, yeah. What? Dude. Let me reach it. There we go. That was weird. 
Uh, is there going to be another crystal in here? Looks like it. A purple... Well, that's a really kind of strange, sandy sort of vibe going on with this one. I didn't want to equip the claw. Why would I ever want to equip that stupid glove? That's so weird. I mean, it was called the power glove at one point. That's got to indicate how bad it is. And I don't mean bad in a rad way. Rad Brad's bad dad. I don't even know. <laughs> These swords are the derpiest things I've ever seen. Do you see how they how they attack you sometimes? They just sort of they're like, oh hey, I can go in a circle. Look at me. It's like oh, I know basic geometric shapes. Fear me. Also, I'm a doom sword. So there's yeah. I mean, so much power contained within those concentric circles, I know, but... Alright, let's see. Uh... Oh, wrong magic grid. There we go. You deal with that while I deal with the National Scar. I almost want to say National Star, because, like, that sounds like a newspaper or something. Like, like the 6-4 Star, which was a newspaper that we had as, like, a class back way back when. Uh, Lunar Magic? assume that that's what works. Oh, there we go. Or a distant sound. I wonder what all these distant sounds are massing up to. Yeah, it was a stupid thing. It actually caught on amazingly, the 6-4 star. It was something that me and, like, two of my friends came up with when we were bored one recess. We were just like, hey, we should make a class newspaper. And it was like, yeah, let's do that. Even though there was already a school newspaper, like the Manichabin Marimba or something. It wasn't Marimba. <laughs> it was something that actually somewhat clever, I guess. I don't remember exactly. It apparently wasn't too clever if I can't remember it, though. So, I don't know what we were thinking. It was a terrible thing. We only did it, like, one time, too. So, I don't even know what the point of it was. I guess it was just for fun. There was also one time where we, like, wanted to... We were always bored at recess trying to think of new things to do. So, there was, like, one time where we decided we were going to make a movie... And we wanted, like, people to star in the movie. So we, like, put up flyers around. I don't know where, how we got flyers even made. Someone made them, I think, and, like, brought them the next day. And we, like, put them up around school. And it actually caught people's interest. They thought we were going to, like, make a real movie. I don't even remember what the plot was. I know there was a plot. There was, like, even, like, sort of five pages of a screenplay written or something. And then we gave up on it. We were we lacked total ambition in it. Maybe we should have gone through with that, too, because I, rem I remember that Sydney was one of the people who wanted to be in it, so... <laughs> that could have been... That could have turned into an interesting sort of experiment. Who knows where I would be today if that had gone... If that had come to fruition, would I be the next... freaking Peter Jackson? I don't even know. The next Steven Spielberg? The next Steven Seagal? Who knows? I think I didn't even want to be in the movie. I, want, I just wanted to, like, direct it, so... It's not like I would, would, would he, of course, if Sydney had been in it, I might, might have changed my mind. It's like, yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to be in the movie now with her. And just, I was such a nerd. I was such a dope. It's like if I could go back in time and observe myself, not even like do anything, just observe my past self, that I would just be like, oh my god, what a total freaking dweeb this kid is. And I even realized it at the time, I think, that I was a dweeb, and I just didn't really care. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm a dweeb, but who cares? I'm just a loser. I'm always going to be a loser. Which had a very sad mentality about me. Uh-oh. Oh, it's another one of those little bosses. It reminds me of like that one that we fought way early on when we were going to get Undyne's magic, I think it was. Well, he's funny looking. Let's see if we can get an ID on this guy. Snapdragon. Well, there's Crackle and Pop Dragon. Well, he's only got 6 MP, so I guess he's not very prone to magic attacks. Fierce Salamando. Yeah, he's more prone to eating your frickin' head. Oh, God, that's painful. Dude, oh, he's gonna kill me with that one, too, I think. Yeah, he's showing up. His... I didn't even get time to do anything. Let's see, that's the problem here. Alright, let's try, uh... Let's at least get Reviver Fire going. And, uh... Get Salamando going on this guy, so I can keep him busy at least a little bit here. Cause I don't want any more of my guys dying like that. To 
tell you what. Let's, uh, do Cure Water as well. There we go. Alright. Oh, we've got things... I've got things semi-under control now. As long as I don't let him eat me too much, then I think we should be good. We should be good. Why did I say that so freaking flamboyantly? It wasn't even flamboyant, it was indignantly. I just sounded absolutely indignant there. Did he just cast Cure It's been a while since I've seen a boss that could actually heal himself. I forgot they could do that. Uh, let's try something here. I've heard that this spell... People have been telling me that this spell Moon Energy is really cheap because it increases... God, how? Oh, I killed him? I didn't even realize. <laughs> I thought he was still... I thought he was just lo taking a rest, like trying to heal himself or something. Well, that was easy. I I I just that was the weirdest sensation to see myself getting javelin's orb when I thought like God, that was weird man that felt so weird oh my God a loop sack around up here so we've come full circle officially and we can now progress well this is exciting feels like it's all been leading up to this moment it's kind of odd um. Oh! This. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? Uh. Now there's an exit behind the stage. What, really? Is this. Is this really the Emperor standing here? Is, it can't be. That can't be the real him. He would do something, you would think. 